Hey guys, Mish here, and today I wanted to share another study on gut microflora, which are also known as gut bacteria or gut microbiome. And pretty much there's just a bunch of bacteria that lives in your stomach and your intestines, and they actually digest a lot of your food for you. And so it's been known for some time now that the bacteria in your stomach are largely dependent on your diet, and they're actually introduced to your stomach by your diet and when you come out of your mom. <laughs> and this study looked at how quickly and in what ways participants' gut microbiome changed as a result of a really extreme animal-based diet or a very plant-based diet. So the researchers first took a baseline sample of the bacteria in the participants' guts, so they knew what it was like before, and then they put them on either a plant-based diet, which consisted of cereal for breakfast, and they had snacks of fresh fruit and dried fruit, and then pre-cooked meals of vegetables, lentils, and rice for lunch and dinner, which sounds delicious. And the animal-based diet consisted of bacon and eggs for breakfast, and salami, pork, and beef for lunch, and cured meats and cheeses for dinner. And then they also had snacks of pork rinds, salami, and cheese. And so the participants ate as much as they wanted of these foods and kept track of them for five days. And then the researchers then sampled their gut bacteria. And the participants each did both diets, so they switched after they had another washout period of the normal diet, and so each participant experienced both diets. All in all, there were massive changes in what bacteria were in the guts and what genes they were expressing. So the foods that the participants ate actually changed the genetics of the bacteria in their stomachs. So the researchers were mainly focused with the animal-based diet because that really changed their gut bacteria. And the plant-based diet also had some changes, but they weren't quite as dramatic or scary. <laughs> so for example, in the people who ate the animal-based diet, there were a lot more bacteria that could digest the byproducts of meat, most notably a carcinogen that happens when meat is charred that is then released into your bloodstream. But the main type of bacteria that they focused on when it came to negative impact was bacteria that were bile resistant. So what bile is, is a chemical that helps you digest fats that is made in your liver and stored in your gallbladder and then released into your gut when you are digesting a large quantity of fat. And so bacteria actually have, well, depending on the type, bacteria have a fat layer on the outside to protect the cell. And so too much bile can cause a lot of trouble for bacteria that aren't specifically bile resistant. And you release a lot more bile when you're eating a lot more fat, like in the animal-based group. And so the animal-based group was eating an insane quantity of fat and protein, especially compared to the plant-based group and compared to a normal diet. And so there was a lot more bile being released to digest that fat. And so that killed off a lot of bacteria that couldn't handle the bile and caused a lot more bacteria that could handle the bile to start growing. And these microbiotic changes, aka the changes in the bacteria in the stomach, led to an increased amount of DCA, which is a secondary bile acid that, according to lots of studies in mice, was found to promote liver cancer and inflammatory bowel disease. In the plant-based diet, you found more bacteria that were able to digest plant polysaccharides and deal with fiber, whereas in the animal-based diet, you saw less of these bacteria after switching to it. And the really interesting part is that all these things happen within three days of changing to a new diet, and the participants' gut bacteria seem to largely go back to normal afterwards. So the main takeaway is that when you change your diet, the bugs in your stomach also rapidly change in terms of their own gene expression and what kinds of bacteria you're going to find in there, because they help you digest stuff. And so you may have some stomach troubles while switching to a new diet, but if you just really stick to it, the bacteria in your stomach will catch up and help you have smooth digestion. So the main result of this study when it comes to health was that the researchers found that a diet really high in fat resulted in more of this bad bile acid, which then most likely is a big cause of inflammatory bowel disease and possibly even liver cancer. And inflammatory bowel disease includes Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, which can be disabling and even life-threatening. And while some of the causes might include genetics or other lifestyle factors, it seems like there's a good chance, according to this study and the animal studies on it, that eating a diet high in fat and animal products might actually trigger the development of these inflammatory bowel diseases, which are just horrible. So I hope you enjoyed part two of my gut bacteria series, and thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe to see more videos.